So Clip Studio Paint just came out with a new update with many features, one of them being time-lapse. Uh, time-lapse has a lot of pros to it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to record your time-lapse and the benefits to it and all that good stuff. So there are two different ways you can record time-lapse. So one of them being if you already have something that you're working on such as I do right here on my screen and I wanna start recording all I have to do is go up to file up there on the taskbar, scroll down to time lapse, and there are two options. One of them is record time lapse, the second one is export time lapse. Uh, click the first one, and a window will pop up that says this will turn on Canvas time lapse recording. The time lapse recording will be saved with the Canvas, and the file will require more disk space than usual. You can click the top, the bottom. <laughs> left to say do not show again I don't care I'm gonna press ok so uh, whatever it records it's just gonna record the progress you are making on the picture itself so if you're just staring at a blank canvas for a long time as many of us do it's not gonna record that part I mean why would it right it's just empty space um, which is a lot better than recording the whole screen like I use on OBS um, OBS is gonna record everything right and another th benefit to recording time lapse is that um, no matter how many times you zoom in and zoom out on your canvas, it is not going to be doing that on the time lapse recording. It's going to stay the same size. And I'll show you guys what I mean when I export it. Uh, so that's different to, again, most screen recordings programs. Is if you zoom in and zoom out, like I'm going to show you on the screen right now, it's going to show all of that, which it's not a big deal, but you know, when you're speeding up for a speed paint, it does get a little bit uh, dizzy. Um, yeah, it's just not very good on the eye. So with time lapse, you can avoid doing any of that. So uh, I didn't make a lot of progress. So let me just uh, let me just do some things. I'll do some squiggles on the side. Pretend that this is necessary for the picture. Okay, this is the background. This is what all my backgrounds look like, anyways. So I just want to do some squiggles so that you guys can see what the time lapse looks like. When you go to the time lapse option, there is a check mark next to record time lapse. That means you are recording your progress. Uh, so you can double check in, in case you're afraid that you're not recording. Just check with that. If there's a check mark, you're good to go. Uh, but if you click on that again, a pop up is going to show up that says this will turn off canvas time lapse recording. Any time lapse recorded for this canvas will be deleted. Uh, so you can press delete and turn off and nothing will save from that time lapse. Of course, that is not what I want to do. I want to export it. So I'm going back to the time lapse feet, time lapse, time lapse tab, and I'm going to click export time lapse. And this window will pop up um, with a few options. So you can uh, choose the length of your time lapse. My recording was not long, so it doesn't really give me a lot of options. Uh, but you can change the size of the window or you know of the actual time lapse and the aspect ratio but you can change the ratio so that it fits for like if you want to post it on instagram or something like that where instagram is a square um you can fix that ratio i'm going to press ok and it does give you the option to you know save it at a specific at a specific place so i'm going to save it in my whips folder and I'm just going to save it as co comic four, whatever. There we go. Um, there is a second way to record your time lapse. So if you don't have something that's already finished, or if you want to record from the very beginning, you know, all the sketches and stuff, go to file and press new for a new canvas. And if you look to the bottom left, um, there is a little check mark box that says record time lapse. Uh, you just click on that press OK to open a new canvas. Um, usually a window pop-up will show up that says the same exact thing as the last one, which is like, it's gonna take up more space. Um, so you just click on that. What brush am I using right now? And so it's gonna record everything from the get-go. Um, again, you can go to file, go to time-lapse to make sure it's recording. There is a check mark, we are good to go. I'll just do the same exact sketch that I'm working on. So I'm gonna just do a little, just a little face. And I'm going to zoom in and zoom out just so that you guys can see that I'm actually zooming in so that you can compare it to the actual time lapse. Uh, this is supposed to be Link, I guess. I'm not exactly sure who this is supposed to be, but let's just shade in a hat right there. I know this isn't the best, okay? I'm just trying to show you the feature. 
do that. Okay. And okay, so keep in mind how many times I zoomed in and zoomed out while I recorded the screen. I'm going to go and open the actual time lapse. Where are you? There you are. Let's open that up. And there you go. See how it's not zooming in or zooming out or anything. It's just a very steady video. I don't know if this is a video. It's literally one second. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I'm going to record a time lapse of the actual sketch that I'm working on. That I'm working on. Because that's going to take way longer than one minute. Um, and then you guys can see what that looks like. And here is the finished time lapse for that sketch. It took about an hour and the time lapse ended up being about 46 seconds. I didn't change any of the settings. So this is the speed that it would go as or go. Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, I don't know how long a time lapse can be. I don't know if it restricts itself. I don't know if it can go any slower or faster or whatever. So you can figure that out for yourself. But honestly, this is really beneficial. If you don't have any screen recording program that you like to use, this is you know, this is really good to use. Remember, this is on the newest version of Clip Studio Paint. So it's version 1.10.5, I believe. Um, if you already have downloaded Clip Studio Paint, just go onto the website and you can download the update for free. If you do not own Clip Studio Paint, it is usually $50, but it is always going on sale for $25. So just keep an eye out for that. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Please be good outlets. Subscribe if you're not. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!